everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is exciting because I'm going to be trying out the Ion Steam Pro Straightening Brush Iron. That is a really long name. And um, I told you guys about this in that unboxing that I did and told you guys I would be trying it out. So I have this event on Friday I've been talking about. Guys, my hair is wet and it's dripping everywhere. This event on Friday and so I wanted to do my hair this way for the event. And so I took advantage on Black Friday and I got this on sale from Sally. I don't know if they have it anywhere else, but they definitely have it on Sally and I got it like 40% off, which was really good. So I don't know how, how much I ended up buying it for. I think like 40 something dollars. That's like, that's really good. So I think it's originally like 70. If you guys have been on my channel for a long time, you guys know that I did a video on that straightening brush and basically, it was just okay, and you really had to like say, oh, I would use it for this, or I would use it for this, and uh, I don't know. I just I just felt like even though there were uses for it, it just wasn't the go-to solution for like getting your hair straight or really blow-dried. And so um, I saw Lipstick and Curls, Jay Kendall, do a video on this, and it just made me want to try it, and just see if it was gonna be any different. So, out the box, it looks like this. It has this thing that's holding these two plates together. It looks like it has some type of like plasticky, almost rubberized type of teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing off. I can't wait to get started because I'm like literally dripping. So, this is what it looks like. Um, okay, you guys, so, I got it filled with water. You, you want to make sure that when you fill it with water, it's definitely unplugged. I think that that's going to be an important thing because water and electricity do not go together. This thing has a weird sound it makes. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Oh, maybe that's how it releases steam. Ooh. So my hair is wet and I actually deep conditioned it overnight because I just wanted to make sure that it was extra soft and moisturized. Whenever you're going, from curly to straight, you wanna make sure you deep condition. That's just like a good rule of thumb to have. So my hair is already detangled, as you can see, but I'm just combing through it and I'm gonna go section by section. Um, I set it to 340 degrees. It goes all the way up to 450. I kinda of wanted it at 350, but it went straight from 340 to 375. So you can control the temperature, but you can't necessarily, I guess, you can't necessarily uh, choose like the exact temperature. So, which is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it on this section right here. So excited to see like how long my hair looks. I'm trying to do like this blowout process so I can do another style, which is the style that's actually inspired by, um, by Jade. So it says that these, um, like this part needs to be facing down, like where it goes like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. And she did this on her wet hair, so I'm just not gonna get too close to the scalp because I'm nervous. Ooh, that's loud. Okay, that's one pass. I don't know if she really said how many times she went over it. Okay, so that was a few passes. I'm still waiting to... We need to go slower. So it's definitely getting there, but it's definitely taking some time. So I might need to bump up the heat a little bit. It doesn't burn my scalp though. I feel like I can get closer for sure. Okay. 
when my hair is straight, you can really tell where those pieces from my postpartum shedding that grew back are. The pieces that give me a headache when my hair is curly. Okay, so this is basically about how straight it's going to get um, on this temperature. All right, so I turned it up just a notch, um, but because I don't want to have to do that many passes, but that's that's pretty good. And right off the bat, I can tell that my hair is not as dry as using a blow dryer. That's right off the bat. Um, I actually do want to put something in my hair now that I think about it. I'm going to use my Show Hair Oil Blend. I forgot to use my heat protectant that is here somewhere because I know I brought it down here. Where did it go? Oh, it is in my pocket. Okay, so I'm going to actually just spray this all over my hair to start off. This is my, um, this is the Care Care Thermal Wonder 6-in-1 Protector. I didn't do the whole system this time. I'm not flat ironing my hair, obviously, but I still just want to, um, just make sure it's protected somewhat. You actually can go in and like get your edges, which is pretty cool. All this back here, where's like, I think in the thick of my head back here, I need these smaller sections because it's super thick. Yep, that's better. Oh guys, I really like this. It's so good. Okay. Like my hair is like, it just feels like it's not dried out. Like when it's blow dried, it's so like, ugh. Like next time I actually straighten my hair, I have to use this guy. <laughs> Like that? That is pretty, pretty freaking straight. This is so cool. I see some areas that I could trim over here. They have like, I have knots on the ends of my hair. That's just a curly hair thing. But it also means I need to be paying better attention when I'm like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that before, but I imagine you have if you're a curly girl because when your hair is curly it loops and if it pulls a certain way I probably get that from putting my hand hands in my hair so much honestly that's why those tips I was talking about are important because now I have to cut off all these pieces instead of being able to keep them because the ends are not split but I have knots y'all it's really crazy how the steam doesn't make it like curly like I thought since it's moisture it would make it that way but it almost just like puts moisture in your hair and then locks it in there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish so that this doesn't take forever in this video. And I'll be back. I have to refill it now, so I'm just showing you guys. You have to fill this little bottle and then you have to screw this on. 
and then use this to fill this. It's a bit much, but it's really not that hard, so I'm not going to complain about it. My hands get tired. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much finished my whole head, took forever in a day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like if I had done it, like if I had let my hair either air dry or like twisted it up and let it dry, it would have went better because when the hair's dry, it actually does go faster, but it needs to be like detangled and like sort of smoothed already. So that's the only thing I would say. Um, you can do it from wet like I did and it still works really, really well. Um, but it just took a little bit more time for me um, of course, I mean, I have pretty thick hair, so that's just something to keep in mind. But my hair feels so soft and so nice. And when I blow dry my hair, it doesn't feel like this. So I'm just going to try to get, I just got a package. That's crazy. It got here early um, in the day. It was supposed to come today, but it got here really early. So I'm just trying to smooth down my Oh, you can't see like all those little flyaways in the top section. As I told you guys, I will not be flat ironing my hair or anything like that. But um, I am going to do another style on it using this blowout alternative um, tonight. I'm going to film it for you guys. But I have to figure out some way to wear my hair for the day. So I'm going to do that. Look who it is. Do you have ZZ? Oh, you have my pack gosh. Isn't my hair look cool? Isn't it so long? I'm gonna take a little bit of this Care Care Edge Tamer and I'm gonna kind of like lay down my edges because I just, I need to, I need to, okay? I didn't even bring a brush or anything to brush these down. But I still want to kind of just Lay them down. Even like in this area. Just like be smooth. But like it got like close to my roots and everything. Like I'm like, I'm just like super pleased. I'm just like, what just happened? Alright. That just gives it a more polished look. Brush it in. Okay, you guys, let me tell you if you need this. If you don't like to blow dry your hair, do you need this? If you like to do blowouts, just to do other styles like flexi rods or roller sets or twist outs or whatever, if you like to do stuff like that, you need this. If you are the type of person who your hair gets really, really dry when you straighten it and you blow dry it, you need this. If you have a struggle getting a really, really good, really, really good bomb blowout with just a blow dryer, because that can be difficult, especially when you're working with like attachments and brushes and round brushes and all kinds of stuff. If you have issues with that, then you need this because obviously if you want to straighten your hair, a good foundation is going to be your blow drying. If you can't get your hair like as straight as this blow dry, it won't get as straight when it's straightened. This is one of the best blow dries I've ever had doing it myself. And I would say it was less work to get here because with the blow dryer, you're using two arms, you're trying to do all this. I was using the chasing method a little bit with the brush just to get through some of my ends. But all in all, it was easy and it was hard. <laughs> it was hard because my arms started hurting and I wasn't... I just like, you know, got caught up in that. But when I thought about it, I was like holding the blow dryer and doing all this. My arm gets like starts burning. Like my arm was hurting in here in my wrist from like clamping it. And I think that I was just clamping it too hard. Like I think I'm just kind of heavy handed in that way. So I don't even count that against it to be honest. Um, it did take a bit of time, but I feel like if I were to do this again, then I could cut down the time because I was still trying to figure it out. So all in all, it's pretty easy. I had to refill this thing, I think three times, and now it's like up to here. So 
that's just something to think about. Actually, four, because I refilled it the first time. So it takes about four and a half of those little compartments to get through my whole head. But it's not really hard because I didn't keep running to the sink. I just kept the water right here that I could use, which made it super easy. So I am obsessed. It's safe to say I'm obsessed. I am like loving it. Like, I just think it looks so good. My hair's gotten so long. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm so happy, you guys. I was just talking about like retaining length and like stopping breakage and like all the stuff that I tried. Like, it really has helped because my hair is like long and it's healthy. Like, I've had it be this long before, but like, it wasn't healthy like this. So, I'm very, very pleased. I'm so happy. I'm just so happy, guys. This. I'm really glad I got this and I'm glad I got it on sale and I'm gonna use it all the time. Um, I have a wig coming in and I it's like comes wavy, so I wanna see how this does if this just like gets it straight. Cause I feel like for like finer hair types and wavy hair, this will just get your hair straight. So if it got my like my very coarse curly hair this this straight, girl, you need to get you one of these. It's so good. So I'm so excited it worked out. It took a little bit longer than originally anticipated, but I'm not complaining. I think I can get faster and faster. And yeah, this is a bomb blowout. Alternative style. <laughs> I'm so excited. If you want to get this, I want to link it down below. Look out for the sales. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the rest of the styles that I do with my hair like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot to address one thing. So, um, about Vlogmas and everything like that, you guys voted on my last video. And actually, most of you guys voted to keep Vlogmas on this channel. The only thing with that is, the only thing with that is, I realized that that video got around 300 views in like a, like a 30 hour period. And for my channel, that's not that's not like a good amount of participation or like, you know, viewership. And so even though most of the people that watched the video wanted me to keep it on that channel, it's like the people that wouldn't have wanted me to keep it on, on that channel didn't even watch the video and didn't even take the poll. And so based on performance on how my vlogs have been doing on this channel, I have made the executive CEO decision of my channel <laughs> to move my vlogs to the vlog channel. So you guys can still see vlogs of me and the family on that channel, and I'm going to link it below. And guys, we have some funny vlogs. We have some like funny stuff like that's getting ready to go up soon from some of our vacations and stuff. So just go to that channel, subscribe if you want, and just check out that channel. Um, we're actually getting ready to like relaunch something special on that channel for you guys. So definitely subscribe. That way you can you know already see when it comes. It's going to come next year. So like January. February in there so I'm excited about it I hope you guys like understand I know a lot of you love the vlogs so like definitely go over there and check them out but for this channel I'm like I've worked really hard to get it to a certain place and I really want to continue to get it to a certain place so I don't want that to just like take away and like majority rules and I know on the poll the majority was the opposite but like overall like I can see my analytics I can see my stats and I can see what people enjoy and what they don't so that's just the way that that's going to be. Um, I hope no one's upset. I hope that you guys understand. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Back to the regular part of the video. If you guys want to join the family, then definitely subscribe to my channel and check out this video that YouTube has chosen just for you. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.